Welcome back, everyone. This is Jaronitis bringing you episode 9 of my Feed the Beast Let's Play 1.6 version. Uh, I did a little bit of reading. Ironically enough, if you actually read this book, it actually tells you everything that I didn't realize I needed to know before. So, yeah. Feel stupid. Read the book. Moving on. Uh, in this right here, it tells me to make the research table that you have to go to the Artifice tab here inside the book. And in the Artifice tab, it has, uh, basically, it's the pieces, uh, it's the blocks and items that you can create making, or uh, items you can create through Thaumcraft. Uh, in this case, we have the Thaumometer, which shows you how to make the Thaumometer. It has the Tables, which is how you make a research table. It has the Arcane Work Table, which is another table. And then, of course, it has the actual research table, how you construct it and put it together. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick because I should have known to do that last episode. Uh, basically, what we're going to have here is the scribing tools. Uh, we're going to make the scribing tools by making a glass vial. The glass vial is glass and clay, which I now have. I also went around and killed some chickens and such, so I have that stuff as well. So... Without further ado, glass files, plenty of those, and then research tools, two of those. Now, the next thing we're going to need is to make the tables. The tables are going to be wooden planks and wooden slabs, which we should already have plenty of. Uh, yep, there's the slabs, there's the planks, and we're going to need three of these. So, we're going to go slabs... and planks we shouldn't need any more than that and I don't have excess storage space so we're not gonna make any more than that uh, normally I would make extra ones just in case you know because uh, creeper blows one up or something and that way I don't have to go back and recraft them all again in this case we're not gonna do that just because I, I don't have the storage space for extras right now so now uh, I carved this little nook out to be my Thaumcraft space for the moment. Again, this is all basic startup. Eventually I'm going to build a house that's going to have all this stuff specially uh, allocated for it. So we're going to place these like this because this is how it's done. And we're going to take the wand and we're going to right click this one. And that turns that into a arcane work table. And then I'm going to analyze the arcane work table if it'll let me. And no, it will not. How about the normal table? Do not have the knowledge. Do not have the knowledge. I never have the knowledge. What can I do? I'm a dummy. For the moment. Anyway, so now we take the arca the, uh, the scribing tools and we right-click them on the table. And that turns it into a research table. So now we have a research table. Now, for the research table, we're actually going to need some uh, paper. Because paper is what's used for doing research. I should have that here in the miscellaneous junk section. And plenty of it for that matter. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and make some more because I will leave this paper in the research table. But I want to carry some with me. Uh, according to the book, if you carry some paper with you, you can, while scanning things, come up with research notes um, accidentally. It's, you know, when you look at something, you're like, huh, and Maybe if I try this, and it gives you the basic research notes that you can work with. Now, here's the scribing tools that we've already put in there, so I don't need to put any more in there. We can shift-click the paper in, and it puts the paper there. Now, over here, it shows all the aspects that we've learned about so far. Uh, I've learned about these aspects because I have scanned things. Now, it gives you a certain number of the primal aspects. The primal aspects are air, water, fire, um, earth order and where's air water fire order earth is it perdido entropy shards yeah yeah and perdido so uh the other ones are combinations of the other aspects like uh tenebrae and so on uh, to find out what these are, we're going to go back over to the miscellaneous information, and we're going to go to the aspects of magic right here. Uh, this is going to show you that air is primal, aqua is primal, ignis is primal. 
But Lux, which is light, is air plus fire. So air plus fire equals Lux. Uh, we found that out because we had air and we had fire, and therefore we could discover Lux. Uh, same thing with Metallum. Metallum is Saxum plus Ordo. We already had Ordo, and we learned about Saxum by scanning the stone. So once we learned what Saxum was, then we could scan and get Metallum. It also shows how many of each of these we have. I have 11 Metallum aspects. And if you mouse over it, it shows me the items that I have scanned that uh, have given me the aspects. So it shows that I've scanned tin, iron, and ferrous metal, I believe. Uh, anyway, so this is showing us how you make these things and what combinations created them. Uh, Vacuos is air plus Perdito, and so on. Um, so this is stuff that you can discover while just doing your basic scanning. Now, other than the basic scanning, we can actually go into the research table, which now has paper on it, by the way, since I added the paper. Uh, when we go in here, we can actually create other things, uh, other aspects. So to combine aspects to create things, what we're going to do is click an aspect, and that's going to put it here. Now, once this is here, we can click this button right here, which is going to use one of the water resource to try to discover a research note. And essentially, using you know, clicking this is the research button, and it will try to learn something about water. I don't really care about learning about something about water right now because we're talking about aspects and combining. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click a different item, which is going to be, I'm going to click fire. So water, and we click fire, and then that puts water and fire. Now this button right here is the combine button. Now if I click this to combine, it's going to combine fire and water, and if those create an aspect that I don't already have, it will learn what that aspect is. If it creates an aspect that I already have, it will just give me an extra point in whatever aspect that already is. So I'm going to click this, and nothing happened. Or did it? Nope, nothing happened. It's just consuming that. So one of the things that they show you here in the aspect of magic, it shows you that a simple thing is life, which is a combination of terra and aqua. So when we go in here, we can create life by creating water and earth and combining those, and that's going to create life. And it says down in the bottom right hand corner, if you can see it, it says you've gained, you discovered Victus, and you've gained research points in Victus. So now we have life. So now we can research things and scan things that have life on it. But it has to have all the other versions as well. So let's see. Life. Oh, wait, we can. Well, let's make a couple more of those. Now, life plus fire should equal something new. Or not. Is it life plus. Order? No, I know it's one of these. Life plus air. No. Now I'm running out of life. Um, let's do life plus water. Ha ha! Life plus water is lemus, which is this slime sticky. <laughs> I learned how to make things sticky. All right, so um, water plus earth is going to create... Oops, we already have water in there. Plus earth is going to create more life. And now we're going to actually try to research something. Uh, let's research using something we have plenty of. We'll research using fire. So we're going to put fire in there, and we're going to click the research button. Okay, now, uh, it immediately brought me up with research. The research is for Nitor, Mystical Flame. Uh, by mousing over the research notes, it shows you what you're trying to research. So, this is the research minigame. Uh, the research minigame is very interesting and annoying and a royal pain in the butt. But basically, we want to make it so that this and this are connected by some means or another. Uh, basically, you can then move these little pieces here, but what we need is to have something that will connect these two. So, since Nitor is fire, and you see the little check mark there showing that fire is currently active, we also need to know what else it's going to be. Nitor is mystical flame, so I think it's going to have Lux. So, I'm going to put light, and I'm going to click the research button, and we should, there we go, have a light node activate. Now, we should be able to then... No, we can't move that. Um, okay, so we want to turn the light back off by doing that. And now we're going to move this to there. And 
Well, we don't have any more light. Light was fire and air. Combine those two so we can have more light. And now we can close those back off, click light, and research. Now, when we research this, if you remember, this rune right here was a light rune. So by activating that again, it's going to light that up, and in theory, the power from this activated node will go over through the light node and then jump to this node, and that should complete the research. And it did. So the power was joined from here through this to that. So you need to be able to basically to complete the research, you need to get all of the nodes glowing. Uh, this one was glowing, this one wasn't, and I used light to connect the two and therefore make this one glow. Uh, you know you did it right because you get a little ding and the research note changes to a discovery. Take the discovery out and you put it in your hand and when you right click it, it opens it up and says, hey, you now know what Nitor is. So now in the Phomenomicon, we should be able to find Nitor around here somewhere. I believe it's going to be under alchemy and it is. So we have researched Nitor and now it shows us how to make Nitor. Uh, the way that you create things has been changed. It's actually going to be a little bit more annoying, a little more difficult. Um, so what we need now is a crucible, and the crucible is going to let us make Nitor. Um, gosh, I really hate to have to do it like that, but I guess we will. Um, the crucible um, will be under the artifice. Well, actually, yeah, crucible. I guess they're going to let us show it here. So the crucible is created by taking a cauldron and right-clicking it with a wand. Um, a cauldron, uh, actually we stole a cauldron from the witches uh, earlier, I believe. So that should be in our miscellaneous junk section. Yes, it is. I stole it from the witches hut and now I don't have to use my iron to make it. Not that having iron is a difficult thing, but, well, there you have it. So now, um, what I'm really gonna be hesitant to do is, uh, is to, to, you need something to heat the water in the cauldron, and the easiest thing to do is to use lava. But lava has a tendency to burn down stuff around it, so let's go back before we set this up completely and see what actually is required to make Nitor. Because Nitor can actually work as a, um, as a heating source that won't catch other stuff on fire. So we need glowstone dust as the catalyst. So I don't have any glowstone because I haven't been to the nether yet, which means that this is a good time to go to the nether because we're gonna continue on with Thomcraft because I like the idea of it, but to do so, we need glowstone dust. Well, I don't have to, I can use lava and just hope that nothing catches on fire, but I don't really want my house burning down. So yeah, we're, we're not going there. So, uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting to continue with Bombcraft, we're going to go ahead and go to the Nether and see, hopefully, something really good going on there. And, ooh, I wonder if I can... No, 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 no. Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to continuously try to research things just because, you know, the, the idea is really cool. So, we're going to need Obsidian. And we actually, we, hmm, we won't actually need some of this stuff. So let's put this away, put that in here. Oh, actually, now is just as good time as any, since we're going to go to the nether and we're going to want to be safe in the nether. Let's show you this builder's wand that I found. Uh, the Builder's Wand is going to be very useful in this particular thing. So, let's see. This chest is empty. We're going to store stuff that we don't... Well, on the initial trip through, we actually don't need pretty much any of this stuff. We'll take this. We'll take this. We don't need this. That should be good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build our nether portal. I'm going to build a nether portal out and away just a little bit. At least for our initial foray into the nether. Uh, we're going to need some iron and some flint so we can make our flint and steel so we can light the nether portal. 
Um, if you don't know how to do that, then you've never played vanilla or any of this before. But even then, just in case you don't know, I will show you. So you take, there we go, iron and flint, and it makes flint and steel, which is essentially something that you use to light fires. So let's see, what would be a good place? I kind of want to put it underground, uh, build a little offshoot down here to make the portal in. Um, that would probably be a good way to do this, but I, I usually like to make my nether portal a little bit higher up just because the your Y level when you travel to the nether is transferred over. So uh, I don't like the idea of spawning in the nether underground. That can be troublesome to say the least. But uh, we'll go ahead and do this. I should probably go get my hammer. It would make this a little bit faster. But this should be fine. This will just take a second. So one of the problems with going to the nether, as I'm sure if any of you have been to the nether, you know, is that there's all kinds of crazy, mean monsters there who want nothing better than to rip your little head off. Um, and uh, if you've ever had your little head ripped off, you know how painful that can be. So, the first thing we want to be able to do is to actually enter the nether and not, like, instantly get killed. Because a lot of the times when you enter the nether, there are ghasts that are literally just waiting there uh, to shoot fireballs at you and explode things and, uh, you know, knock your nether portal out so that you can't transport yourself back and run away. Because uh, if you've ever... <laughs> If you've ever been in the nether and you had a ghast shooting at you and you're like, well, I'll just go back through the portal, and you turn around to find that the portal's been destroyed, yeah, that's not a very happy time. So, um, first thing you want to do is... Ooh, I didn't make that quite tall enough. That's okay, we'll just... So the first thing you want to do when you go into the nether is to protect your nether portal. So we're going to assume that we're going to come out in a very bad place because most of the time when you spawn in the nether you come out in a really bad place. And we're going to bring a bunch of cobblestone with us because even if I happen to die there's no great loss in the cobblestone itself. And we're going to put a torch here because I don't want a creeper being here when I come back out. And then when we get back, we're going to put a door here, or actually probably, well, we'll probably make it a single door. That way, if anything comes out of the nether into our existence, it doesn't get to walk around my base. All right, so now we need to be prepared for this. So we're going to put the cobblestone here. And when we go through, we're immediately going to start building a small house around the builder's wand is going to help that out a lot. So I will show you guys how the builder's wand works, and then I'll explain exactly what happened with it, because I'm not going to try to tell you how it works while I'm trying to work with it, because that's just crazy. Let's go on in and see what we get. Inevitably something trying to kill me immediately. Okay, doesn't look too bad right off. I hear ghasts, but I don't see any. Now, Builder's Wand, go. The Builder's Wand automatically adds to the same type of brick that you are currently pointing at. And it takes from your inventory to do so. So, by getting stuck in the ground... Come on. Thank you. By right-clicking on the cobblestone that I already have plenty of in my hands, 
I am now placing more of it in place where the other already is. So it makes for building really fast, hence the builder's wand. So that now has gotten us basically safe from gas attacks. And I do mean very, very basically. So if you look at the radar, there actually is a ghast, but it looks like he's probably too far away to be of any concern to me at the moment. Well, at least we didn't come through and immediately get jumped. All right, we'll finish building this up just a little bit. And then through the wonder of flight and the oh so cheatiness that is morph, we're gonna go get us some glowstone. Whoop, there's the ghast I told you about. Told you it would happen. Too late, ghast, I'm already, ow. Too late, ghast, I'm already getting killed by you. Now, the big thing about the Builder's Wand is you actually can't uh, build in roofs very easily without having the first level of it built already. Um, if I were to try to put the Builder's Wand here, it would actually just fill in that entire wall. But by doing it here now, I can actually get it to go across the top like I want it. And now, we have a completely filled in nether portal. Uh, the portal is safe, it won't get destroyed by a ghast. I can even walk around the side if I need to. And now, all I need is a door, which I don't have yet. Get out of here. Nope. Ow, ow, ow. I would put myself out, but you can't have water in the nether. So instead, I'm just going to turn into a bat. At least I'll die with a cute squeaky sound. Alright, so, um, you know. Okay, so we're going to go back out of here for just a second. Because fortune favors the prepared, and I'm not, so therefore uh, dying would be the next logical thing for me to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to make a couple of things that I want to have. Um, we're going to make, well, we've already got the obsidian. Uh, we don't need the cobblestone as much now, so we'll go ahead and finish topping that off. We're going to make a couple of obsidian pressure plates. Uh, obsidian pressure plates only open for players. Um, uh, basically, they you can put them out next to doors, and that made the door open but it only makes it open for me. If a zombie or something were to step on that pressure plate, it would not open the door for the zombie or a creeper, which is more what I'm worried about. So that being the case, we're going to make some iron doors. Uh, iron doors are a little bit more resilient than your basic doors. Actually, we're gonna need three of them and we're actually going to need another set of these. All right, so we're gonna take down this door and put an iron door in its place because now we have the pressure plates that will make the door open and close for me. And only me. Give me that door. And the door will automatically close so I don't have to worry about accidentally leaving my door open anymore, which I seem to like to do. So now we're gonna put that there and that there and that there. And now the only thing I need is a chest. I want to bring a chest with me into the nether so that I can keep it there for uh, safe stuff. Uh, wooden stuff, I don't have any, so we'll make some. Actually, the nether rack can go in here as well. Actually, I don't need the obsidian anymore either. And the door can go in the miscellaneous junk category. Wood stuff will get the excess chests. And off we go. Alright, good. Back to the nether we go. So yes, the builder's wand is going to be very useful when it comes to building all kinds of useful things. Um... It's, I can't begin to tell you how useful it is when it comes to building a house. I'll show you later because it's going to be really cool. Alright. So, let's see. We're going to place a door here. 
And I put all of my cobblestone away because I'm an idiot. I guess we'll just have to use the netherrack. Alright, now we're going to put some chests here because you always want to be able to store stuff in the nether. We're going to leave everything that I can't have any use for for the moment. This flint and steel will stay here forever, uh, just in case, because if I happen to have something happen and the nether portal were to get damaged or, uh, or get put out somehow, I don't want to be stuck in the nether. So I keep that here so I will always have the ability to relight the to relight the portal. Now, because I can fly too, I'm gonna go take this guy out for being a pain in my butt. And because I wanted to. Hmm, I wonder if I can become a ghast now. If I'm a ghast, will the ghasts leave me alone? Oh, stop. Go back. Go back. Go back. Uh-oh. Go back where? Go back. Where? What the heck is that? Hive block? Hive block? Hive block. Uh-oh. I lost my house. I lost my house because I'm a genius and I didn't mark where I came in. Ah, oh, thank God, there it is. Okay, let's, before I go get myself completely lost, let us, oops, not that one, that one. This is... Nether portal. We want this visible in the nether only, and we want it to be some color that is not going to be hard to see in the nether. We're going to make it white. All right, now I can actually find my way. What the heck is that? Okay, I'm guessing that that was some sort of bee. Well, it, obviously it was some sort of bee, but... Huh. I wonder if this is how this is going to play out. I can definitely see me coming back here and totally destroying that because there's got to be something good at its center there's got to be some sort of special bee thing or something i don't know we'll have to see uh but this is what i came for this is what i'm getting and we can go back and make us some night tour and wow this is hardly any of it getting picked up but that's okay i should be able to just go down beneath and pick it up after i'm done breaking it all Wow, I probably should have died from that. Uh, I know I'm a bat, but I, I mean, I must have just barely hit, the, I mean, as I was falling, I was trying to make it so I could fly. Uh, I didn't think I had gotten it, though. Whoa, no, 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 Nitro Creeper. Ooh, I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can tinker with him because I can fly. Ooh, I can, sweet. Die, Nitro Creeper. Sweet. God, I love being able to fly. Even if I fly right into fire. Alrighty. Excellent. Alright, so we have th two and a half stacks of glowstone now, and we no longer. Whoa! 
yeah, we don't need to be here anymore. Time to leave. Say bye. Because <laughs> the nether's a dangerous place. No, you didn't. Come here. Come here. Oh, you missed me. You missed me. I can fly too, sucker. Whoa. Bees. Alrighty then. Never were there bees before. Never were there bees before. <laughs> Never. Awesome. Um, actually, one thing that I'm going to point out while I'm here is this is cobalt. Um, we made alumite previously. Cobalt is the next step up. Uh, we want to mine as much of this as we can find. And I will do so off camera because I will be coming through here quite frequently. And no, I don't want to go through the portal yet. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. All right, one successful trip to the nether. Yay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to, uh, real quick, since I don't want to be... What? Oh, okay, never mind. Actually, let me take a look real quick. What did we get? Did we get... What marker name? No. That's supposed to be... Oh. Hmm. Okay, I need to figure that out. All right, we'll just go down through this way. We have got... I can become a ghast. How awesome is that? Um, let's see. I can become a wasp. I can become a nitro creeper. That's awesome. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go... What just happened? Um... How about what just happened? Why does it show only those? Did I just somehow lose all my morphs? Um, okay. I somehow just lost all of my morphs except for the squid. I don't know why I have the squid, but... That's kind of odd. Let me go find and kill another bat. Okay, that's odd. But I suppose it just did it again. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, I'll deal with that on my own. I made my hotkeys... Uh, for the morph mod, the insert and delete uh, key. Apparently, the delete key actually deletes morphs when you push it. Instead of just scrolling down through, it actually was deleting them as well. So I just deleted all of my morphing capabilities. Great, now I gotta go earn them all back. Well, that is something that I will deal with when the time is done, when the time comes. Uh, I will have to redo all of that. How annoying. But that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, there's just not enough hotkeys. That's what the problem is. There's not enough hotkeys. Alright, we need this, 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 and this. And this. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we're drawing to a close for the episode. We're going to get this Nitor made. We're going to get the Crucible uh, functioning on something other than lava. And because I don't, I don't know of anything right here that could catch fire. But I know that stuff can catch fire. And therefore, I am not uh, exactly happy to just leave it as it is. So we're not going to. Uh, we're going to fill this with water. Then I'm going to go over to my infinite water source that I created in the wall right here. Refill the bucket and put it back on the shelf. Now what we need to do is consult Thaumonomicon on Nitor. So to make Nitor we need to put in items with these aspects on them. Uh, fire, light, and potentia. Um, that's actually interesting. I wonder if I can... See, I don't know of anything that has Potentia 
right off the top of my head, but we can actually look here and we can look for Potentia. Limus, Lux, Metallum, Ordo, Perdido, Potentia. Potentia is in coal blocks. Okay, well, I don't have any coal blocks because I don't have silk touch on anything. So let's see if, just for the sake of fun, let's scan the item, coal, and it has fire and potentia as well. So in order to make this, I can now take torches, which I know has Lux on it, and I can combine the torches and the uh, torches, which will have my Lux, and the uh, coal, which will have my Ignis and my Potentia, and I can combine those together to make the uh, all the elements necessary to make Nitor. So it's hard to read. I think that says 3, 3, and 3, and then the Glowstone as the catalyst. So what we do is we find something. Let's see, where is it? There it is, coal. Uh, we need 3, 3, and 3. So well, we're actually going to need that as well. We're going to need this and this, and we don't need that. So let's see. To do three, three, and three, this has one of each. So we're going to do six of these because I actually want to make two Nitor. We're going to get two of those, and this has two and two of each of those. So to make two Nitor, we're going to need three of these because that makes a total of six. So six, six. Six of each of these, six of this, and then the glowstone as the catalyst. So now we should be able to drop that in, drop that in, and then drop this in on top of it. And that should have given us Nitor. And it did. How awesome is that? All right, so that's how we make Nitor. Now, I don't want that lava to continue to be there, so we're going to go ahead and take it off. And there we go. Now we're going to put the Nitor under there instead. And... Well, I was going to put that back, but apparently I'm not. Actually, I find myself curious. I'm sure... Actually, I'm, I'm not curious. I know. I should be able to scan this because I had the aspects to make it and it should give me new stuff. I don't have the aspects. That doesn't make any sense. Oh well, whatever. So now, just to make sure this is as it was, we're going to fill the crucible back with water. And look at that, it's instantly boiling. Excellent. So we have done what we intended to do. All right, in between episodes, I'm going to continue to try to do different aspects of research. Um, I'm going to scan things. I'm going to check on the bots. I'm going to pull their inventories because they should still be running. Uh, while I'm talking about this, we'll run down here and see how far they've gotten. Uh, just because I'm probably not going to come back down here uh, after the fact. Uh, let's see, let's turn that off. When we get down here low enough, we should see what progress they're making. Indeed we do. You can see this nice large area here that is opened up uh, on both sides showing us that they are actually doing quite the job. And I'm getting all kinds of different slime transformations. Why I would ever want to morph into a slime, I don't know, but whatever. Alright, this is Jeronitis signing off, and remember to help spread the gaming.